Hey, so what we're going to learn about today is a phase change triangle. Uh, we've already talked about the three main states of matter, those being uh, solids, liquids, and gas. Um, you can see on the phase change triangle, here's our solid, looks like an ice cube. We have our liquid um, in the form of water, and then we also have our gas up here. Um, another state of matter that we haven't really talked way too much about just yet is called plasma. So that's our fourth state of matter, and that's kind of off to the side here, not necessarily necessarily part of the triangle, but kind of over here by itself. Um, what plasma is, plasma is an ionized or a charged, an electrically charged gas. So back in chemistry we talked about what ions are. If you remember ions, um, they either have extra electrons making them negative, or an ion could have lost some electrons making it positive. So it's just having a charge, either a positive or a negative charge. Um, so plasma is electrically charged gas. Um, but we'll get back to plasma in just a second. So we have our solid, we have our liquid, and we have our gas in our phase change triangle. Um, so what we're going to do is label the arrows together um, with the phase change words. So freezing, melting, condensation, vaporization, those are phase change words. Um, and then we're also going to go back and we're going to label um, we're going to color together, and you're going to do this right in your note packet as um, I do it. You're going to do it uh, right along with me. We're going to color in the endothermic phase change words red, and we'll get back to what endothermic is, and then the exothermic phase changes, so we're going to color blue. All right, so let's start with one of the easy ones. We have the state of matter called liquid, and if we follow this top arrow over to solid, um, think about that for a second, a liquid turning into a solid. We see that all the time. If you've ever made ice, you put some liquid water into your ice tray, um, put it into the freezer, it turns into a solid. So just like you would think, that is called freezing. So you're gonna write freezing right on that arrow. That's the phase change word for a liquid turning into a solid. Okay, and the opposite of that, uh, anytime that we have a solid turning into a liquid, that's going to be called melting. So the phase change word that goes on that arrow is gonna be melting. All right, so let's take a look at liquid. So over here we have our liquid on our phase change triangle changing into a gas. Think about that for a second. Anytime you've ever seen a liquid turn into a gas, that's going to be if you've ever boiled a pot of water. Um, you put it on the stove, it gets really hot, that temperature increases. You're going to see that liquid turn into a vapor. It's going to turn into a gas. So that phase change from liquid to gas is called vaporization. Um, you could also label that as evaporation would be another word or phase change word that you could use to describe um, the state of matter liquid turning into a gaseous state. Now the opposite of that, you're going to see a gas turn into a liquid. So if you follow that arrow, a gas turning into a liquid, that is called condensation. So go ahead and write condensation on that arrow. You can always pause the video, of course, if this is going too fast for you or you missed something. So that's what's kind of cool about uh, doing the video. All right, so that's condensation. Um, a really good example of condensation, um, if you've ever taken a really hot shower and that steam in the bathroom in the form of gas starts to condense, it's cooling down and it actually makes liquid, like on the mirror, on the walls, you start to see these little rain droplets. That's a good example of condensation, or sorry, gas condensing into a liquid on the walls as it cools down. All right, we only have two more arrows to fill in. Um, a pretty cool one that you're actually going to see. Hopefully we'll get a chance to bring in some dry ice this year. Um, I'll post some videos on my website about dry ice. Um, anytime that you have solid, um, a state of matter of solid, turning into directly into a gas. 
So a solid turning directly into gas, not liquid and then to gas. Um, this phase change is called sublimation. So dry ice actually does that. Um, it's a solid block of carbon dioxide that sublimates directly into a gas. So check out those videos if you've never seen dry ice. It's kind of cool stuff. We'll uh, try to get that in class this year so you can see it firsthand. All right, and the last phase change, we have a gas turning into a solid, directly into a solid. So imagine that um, a gas turning into a solid, that phase change word is called deposition. Uh, so a good example I can think of for that would be on a really cold morning, there is gaseous water vapor in the air. Um, and if it's cold enough and it hits, say, a car window or um, maybe a glass window, hits something really cold, it automatically goes from that gaseous state and uh, through the deposition phase into a solid. So it's going to look like ice on the window. So that water vapor in the air, if it hits a really cold car window, is going to start to frost over and be solid right away without actually being a liquid in between, which is pretty neat. Um, now, there are phase change words for um, the phase change from a gas into plasma and plasma into gas. So I know I had a couple students ask what those words are called. Um, not something you necessarily need to know for eighth grade, but uh, I'll let you know what that is. Anytime that you have gas turning into plasma, that's called ionization. So you kind of hear that root word ion, ionization. And then for plasma turning into gas, that's going to be called deionization. So just in case you were wondering, but don't worry too much about uh, that phase change. These are the six phase changes that you really need to know. All right, so I did say we were going to go back in color. So you do need a red and a blue, either color pencil or crayon or whatever you want to use. I'm going to do the red first. It's probably going to be, whoops. Didn't mean to do a line. All right, so there we go. Gonna be a little shaky there. So color, the endothermic changes red. So endo, we've talked about that root word endo, meaning inside. So anytime that the heat is entering into a system, that would be an endothermic phase change. So typically when something gets hotter, that's why we're gonna color it red. So heat is entering, the system is gonna heat up, the temperature is gonna go up. So let's uh, highlight sublimation. Sublimation is an endothermic phase change. So color in that arrow red. Heat is entering into that system. So if that ice or that solid has heat entering into it, it could directly sublimate into a gas. So that's going to be endothermic. Um, let's see, another one we want to color red would be vaporization. Again, heat entering the system, turning from a liquid to a gas. That's definitely an endothermic phase change. And the third one is going to be melting. So if a solid ice cube starts to have heat enter into it, or thermal energy enter into it, it is an endothermic phase change. It's going to heat up and turn into the liquid state. Now you do have to memorize this stuff. Um, all of this will be on your test, of course, so you want to make sure you're studying this and committing it to memory. Hopefully it makes some sense and it's not too complicated. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and color the exothermic phase changes blue. So switch over your color there. And all of these phase changes, that root word exo meaning to exit or be on the outside. So anytime that heat or thermal energy is leaving a system, um, then it's going to cool down and go through the phase change, exothermic phase change of one of these three. So let's color freezing. Freezing should be blue, makes sense. Exothermic heat is leaving the system. It's going to cool down. Condensation is another one, another exothermic phase change. So we're going to color that arrow blue. And our last exothermic phase change is that deposition phase change. All right, there you go. 
So those are our six phase change words. We have our three states of matter, solid, gas, and liquid. So make sure you're studying those vocab words. The questions can definitely be pretty tricky with all this different vocabulary. Um, and feel free to play this video over and over just so you make sure that you're really good at this phase change triangle. All right, I hope that helped.